subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get notifications about new videos. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a new tutorial of Microtik lo load balancing. In this video, I'm going to show you how to load balance with Microtik router. So let's get started. So first of all, I'm gonna show you a quick speed test. So we're gonna do a quick speed test to see how the load balancing is working. Uh, I have total three connection and the bandwidth is supposed to be 100 Mbps. So let's see. So guys, as you can see here, I'm getting around 100 Mbps download right now. And similarly, the upload is also quite good. It is also about 100. It is working very fine. You guys can see. So this was a quick speed test. So now let's get into the Microtik and let's see what's happening there. So I have two Microtik routers. Uh, the first one is supposed to be uh, load balancing and the another I'm using it for DHCP and hotspot. So this is the main load balancing Microtik. As you can see here, I have total three uplinks, WAN1, WAN2, WAN3, okay? So to configure the load balancing, there is a very easy way through which you can achieve this scenario. So for that, I have a script over here. So guys, here is a script that I have configured for 3WAN. If you want to make any changes to your uplink or if you want to make load balancing just for 2 WAN or you want to make it for 4 WAN then you can configure it easily. You mm -hmm. just need to add WAN 4 in every places where there is WAN 1, WAN 2 and WAN 3. For example, here is WAN 1, WAN 2 and WAN 3. So you need to copy over here and just paste and then change it to WAN 4. Okay. What, Ethernet 4 oh there was already a rule so let, let me delete this okay uh, no changes in hotspot profile no changes in IP pool no changes in DHCP server no changes in IP hotspot and again you have to change here you have to add IP address of your WAN 4 so just copy it over here paste it and then give the IP address of your WAN4 network okay after you are done uh, no changes to DHCP server no changes to DNS no changes to firewall filter and then you have to make changes in IP firewall manual over here you just need to copy the above and then paste it just below paste and you need to rename this to WAN4 and again WAN4 connection then again do it same for here copy paste WAN4 WAN4 again in the addresses you just copy paste it and select WAN4 oh sorry and you just enter the IP address of your WAN4 interface okay then again okay this is the main important thing so copy it paste make changes over here WAN4 okay then over here instead of 3 write 4 because you have 4 WAN same here same here same here and on the right side you just need to 
change this to 3 we have total 4 when okay so 4 by 0 4 by 1 4 by 2 4 by 3 and then just do the same process over here paste when 4 when 4 same here copy paste when 4 after you apply this script your hotspot uh, username and password will be admin and over here in IP route you have to add your gateway so copy the gateway of WAN3 okay and paste it over here and change the gateway of your WAN4 rename it WAN4 and again over here this will check your gateway if your gateway is unavailable then it will also work as a failover so that's all after this you can easily copy this script and paste it in your mycotic router so for that you just need to reset your mycotic router before resetting your router make sure to click no default configuration then reset your router after you reset your router open up your router go to new terminal i have not reset my router i'm just showing you how to do it then go to new terminal after that you can copy and paste all this script in your microtik to copy and paste don't just copy all and paste it so do it step by step first select ethernet and then go over here paste and then enter okay then again after that go to IP hotspot profile copy paste enter and then again make sure to close the terminal after every skip you paste so if you copy this script and then paste over here after pressing enter you need to close this and then reopen the new terminal and then you need to copy and paste repeat the process for every script same for here here all these scripts are separated by a gap over here you can see here this is the gap you can easily know copy all scripts and paste it over there again from here you have to paste every script separately okay after you have done so after your microtik load balancing is configured make sure to reboot your router so guys after you have successfully rebooted your router so let's take again a quick speed test to see how our load balancing is working so guys as you can see here i'm getting the speed from all three wan you can see here i'm getting around 100 mbps download okay let's check the upload upload is also quite good upload fluctuates sometimes okay it will be okay so let's check it again So guys you can see here we are getting the full bandwidth you can see here 30 MB from first link 30 MB from second link and 40 MB from the third link so our load balancing is working fine you can see the upload is also working quite good you can see here now let's check some downloadings how it works so we are going to download some movies to see how the download works so let's download a movie and check how it works
so guys as you can see here the load balance is working but to get its full potential <coughs> to get the full bandwidth from the load balance you need to put as many load as you want the load balancing works better with mode load okay so let's download another movie and check so now you can see here as you can see we are getting 100 mbps speed you can see here my tx is 100 so I'm downloading at 100 mbps right now you can check over here 100 104 so the load balancing is working pretty well so this was this is all about load balancing now I have my another micro tick which is serving as a DHCP and a hotspot server for authentication. So as you can see here, this is my micro tick router. The the load balance internet is coming from Ethernet one. You can see here the download speed. Let's resume this movie and check how it is working. So you can see here we are easily getting 100 Mbps speed over here. You can see here 98, 99, 102, 101, 102. So basically we are getting 100 Mbps and the CPU uses is about 20, 30 percent is okay. So this was basically a video of load balancing. Now the further, now further. I'm going to show you my setup how I have set up my load balancing router in my house so let's take a quick overview to my network setup so guys this is my network setup this is my all devices in my network you can see over here this is my uplink one two three all are these fiber routers provided by my isp over here you can see a switch which is connected to my main microtech which serves as dhcp and hotspot server and this one is the load balancing micro dick with which does all the work you can see here when one when two and one three are working and lan 5 is connected to when one of the my main micro tick router so basically this is my setup and over here there is all the cable you can see there there is a lot of mess so this is my network setup and over here is my dual band weblink sc1200 smart wi-fi router which is connected to my main micro tick router and which is uh, working as an access point so basically this was my network setup of my home network along with micro tick load balancing tutorial so guys if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing.